Hey, this is Rick Terrio, your Maine real estate guide. I'm here on location in one of my favorite communities in the entire state of Maine, Fort Kent, Maine. I'm at 1240 South Pearly Brook Road, and I've got a real special property to bring, I'm bringing to market uh, for you folks. <clears throat> it's two bedrooms, two full baths, 2,400 plus or minus square feet of finished living space situated on a six plus or minus acre lakeside lot. Uh, and uh, it's, it's quite a property. And so we'll spend a little time uh, uh, checking it out here in the next few minutes. But behind me, back in 2001, this is what the land here looked like. It was pretty much overgrown with alders and willows and, and raspberry bushes and scrub trees. And my client, uh, that, the person who was selling this property uh, to you, um, came here and he had some vision. And he looked at this overgrown potato field and he created this beautiful oasis here in the community of Fort Kent, Maine on Black Lake. <clears throat> now Black Lake we'll talk a little bit about. I'm quite familiar with it. Uh, when, I was, uh, when I was a young, young kid, uh, grammar school age and whatnot, I used to, my grandparents lived just up the road here on uh, South Pearly Brook Road. So I spent my summers here. And uh, Sundays, my grandfather would take me fishing on Little Black Lake. We had a little 14-foot aluminum boat and we would come down here. He probably kept his boat in the bushes here, because I, re I remember it was tuck, tucked on in the bushes on, a, in, on an overgrown field. I'm pretty certain it was right on this property. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, Little Black Lake uh, is 33 plus or minus acres of heritage trout pond. Little Black Lake, if you're looking for a place where you can go water skiing or ride a jet ski, this isn't your property. It's got a six horsepower uh, restriction so it's it's the perfect size for a canoe or a small kayak and it's a great place to fly fish uh, for for hungry brook trout and these these are heritage trout they're self-sustaining uh, the not much stock in the way of stocking goes on here uh, this is a spring uh, spring fed lake and uh, it's got some uh, some great brook trout but if you're looking to be on the water in a place where everything around you is pretty much gonna stay as you see it. Because the, the land on the other side of the lake, I mean, most of the other land that re remains on Little Black Lake is, um, is protected, resource protected. So there's, it's a thousand foot setback on most of the lake. There are a couple of camps towards where uh, up the road or just a piece where there is a, a public boat launch. But by and large, uh, like the hillside across the lake from us here that we, we, we're viewing, um, uh, that's what it's gonna look like, uh, you know, 10 years from now, 50 years from now, just, uh, just beautiful. So <clears throat> we're here at the property. Again, it's 2,400 plus or minus square feet of finished living space. It's, uh, it's, it's stick built, but log sided. Uh, so it's got that log home look. Uh, without that log home maintenance. It's got an expansive tech deck. So no staining of the deck required. Let's check that out here for, for a minute. And just a fantastic view of, of Little Black Lake. The panorama here is just spectacular. When I arrived here earlier today, uh, there were two bald eagles, um, but they uh, were camera shy before I could get uh, get a camera out to get pictures. Uh, but they were uh, just just right in, in that screenshot that you can see right now. That's where they were, uh, just perched in the tree. And here you'll see moose, you'll see eagles, you'll see ducks, you'll see white-tailed deer from time to time. Um, but by and large, this is the view that you're going to enjoy. So let's go take a look at the other side of the home. It's got a beautiful driveway with crushed slate. It stays really nice, easy to repair. Just throw a little more crushed slate if you need to from time to time. It's got a beautiful lawn that uh, 
flows from the edge of the home down towards the lake. And my clients grow a lot of their own food and have since they've lived here. They have a beautiful garden and then they use organic uh, methods of growing, uh, use compost. They don't use chemically made fertilizers uh, to grow their food. <laughs> they grow turnips and carrots and beans and peas, tomatoes. You can grow about anything here in Arusta County. Uh, which, which is known for, uh, it's, it's the farm belt uh, in, in Maine. But you can take a look at uh, this nice dark, dark soil. That's, that's good stuff right there. So if you like to garden and you want to grow some of your own fruits and vegetables here or at your home, you can do that right here. They got a beautiful garden all set up for you. All you got to do is plant some seeds. They picked about everything except they got still got some beets and some turnips uh, still in the ground. Uh, they'll be they'll be gathering those up shortly, I'm sure. So I'm standing on the dock here because I'd be remiss in not talking about all the recreational opportunities in Northern Arusta County. Not only is this property a great fishing property, being on a 33 plus or minus acre heritage trout water, but this is also a, a great area for all all of Maine's outdoor pursuits, whether it be hunting, fishing, ATV or snowmobile riding, uh, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. Fort Kent uh, is a, one of the training centers for uh, biathletes. Uh, it's got a, a, a Nordic center. I believe the World Cup is returning to Fort Kent in a couple of years. Uh, we, they have the Can-Am sled dog race every winter. Uh, in the summertime, they have the, the muskie tournament uh, on the St. John Riverway. Uh, from this property, you have, uh, if you, once the ice uh, tightens up, you can uh, uh, snow, snowmobile right from here on the lake surface to the uh, trailhead for the ITS trail network, which is right at the end of the lake where, where the outlet is. Um, you can, uh, the road here is, uh, is an ATV access road, so you can access the ATV trails directly from this property. This is a great place if you love the outdoors uh, and you are looking for a well-built home in a great community. The community of Fort Kent is about 5,000 plus or minus residents. There's a University of Maine campus here. There's a, a hospital, Northern Maine Medical Center. Uh, there's several restaurants downtown. There's hardware stores, uh, service stations, car dealerships, grocery stores. This is a full service community, um, but uh, with lots of country. Uh, this is just beautiful, beautiful area uh, with rolling hills, open farmland, uh, and uh, if you're looking for a quieter life in a great area, and you want to escape New Jersey, Manhattan, or wherever, and you just want a better life, give Rick Terrio, Rick Terrio your main real estate guy to call at area code 207-731-9902. And let's make an appointment to come up here and view 1240 South Pearlybrook Road. So you get a nice long, private drive that comes down. You got a nice two car attached garage with direct entry into the living space. We'll go in through the garage. So from the garage, you've got direct entry into the home. You also have direct entry into the basement and I'm gonna start the tour in the basement. So let's head down the stairs. This home is extremely well built by a craftsman that knew what he was doing. Uh, if you're looking for a home without any problems, you want to you want to look at this one. And not and not long and hard, but uh, long enough to make a decision to give me a call. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're down here in the basement. It's got a hot water baseboard uh, heat system is the central heat with a boiler mate for your hot water. 200 amp service, you get your oil tank, you get your pressure tank for your well. Everything's nice and neat down here. This is their workbench where they pot plants in the, in the uh, springtime getting ready to, uh, to uh, get some seedlings going for, for the growing season. Get a little hot house here. Again, another beautiful window overlooking the lake. 
You know, if you've got a place this that's in a spot this breathtaking, you want to invite it into your home as much as possible. And so they've got windows that overlook uh, the lake from just virtually every room. And these aren't aren't uh, uh, just ordinary windows. These are triple pane, argon filled, low E windows. So very uh, thermally, uh, they, they got a great thermal envelope. Uh, so they're, uh, when you live up here in the North Country, it, every little bit helps in, uh, in the heating season. And they are very nice windows. Over here in this little cubby hole, if you like to grow your own fruits and vegetables, you need a place where you can store them uh, that's relatively climate controlled. And this is uh, cold room storage. Uh, he's got his onions and his potatoes and uh, in, in these tubs, he's got turnips and carrots and beets all stored uh, for, uh, for later use this winter. And with, uh, with the door closed, uh, it's cooler and damper in here, so it keeps your root vegetables in just great condition. So this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, a root cellar. And I would say that this glowing red light reminds you that there's light on in there and we should turn that off because light encourages uh, potatoes to sprout. So we'll turn that off. You got a great workbench area, everything nice and, nice and neat for projects. And uh, uh, there's three entrances uh, to this basement area. You got a walkout basement door here, double man door, the doorway we came in from the garage, and then an interior door here. So let's head upstairs into the main living area. So this would be the, your main entrance to the home where you'd come into kind of a mudroom area, a place where you can take off your shoes, sit on the bench, it's an open concept home, and you kind of come in from the garage into the kitchen area. You get this beautiful pantry off the kitchen for storage of some of your groceries. And it's a beautiful kitchen. Granite counters, tile floors, recessed lighting. Lots of natural light in the home with all these windows. And it's very, very comfortable in here. It's cool outside today, it's about 45, but it's toasty warm in here. This is just beautiful. This is kind of a close up of that beautiful granite that float, blends so well with the color of the home. And it's uh, very well built, uh, again, stick built, but with that log look. So you don't have that log maintenance there. Actually, it's tighter, uh, better insulated, it's a more, better thermal envelope. Here you got a beautiful dining room area where you and your guests can sit overlooking the lake, watching trout rise in the distance. And then that expands into the great room area where there's this beautiful wood stove and a stone hearth. The homeowner heats the home primarily with wood. As he works from home, he's here all the he's here throughout the year, and uh, during the uh, heating season, it burns about four quart of, of firewood annually, and uh, supplements that with some oil for the hot water baseboard if they happen to be away. But this is just a, just a beautiful area. Just kind of a close up of that beautiful stonework. And this flows around. And you got a laundry room right here. Again, with another, another beautiful window. So while you, after you toss the, your laundry into the washing machine, you can take a look out and see what's going on on the lake. And here's your guest accommodations. And you get a full bath down here with a tub and shower enclosure and another closet for storage.
Got tile and wood flooring throughout with some laminate upstairs. So let's go check that out. Just beautiful woodwork throughout the home. You come up the stairs into a, what's being utilized as a family room. They get the television set set up here and also an office set up. Both of, both of my clients work from home. They telecommute and work from, work from their computers right here. But what a great spot this little table would be to enjoy a cup of coffee with your significant other. Take a look at that view. And then this room leads in to the master suite. And this is expansive. This beautiful room. It's more of those triple pane windows, letting beautiful view for you. And this area here is left open and that helps with uh, uh, allowing the heat from the wood stove downstairs uh, circulate up here, just natural convection. So it keeps upstairs nice and warm in the winter time. And then you got this beautiful walk-in closet, plenty of room, and a large master bed, uh, bathroom. So that's a quick tour of 1240 South Pearlybrook Road, located here in the community of Fort Kent, Maine. Uh, there's extensive information on this property. I just spent the afternoon doing a Matterport tour, so be sure and check out our website, lifestylepropertiesofmaine.com, and click on the links for the 3D Matterport tour, uh, as well as uh, other property information. I've got, uh, I've got everything uh, in my file, uh, from the septic design uh, to the, what the annual taxes are. So if you have any questions and want more information, you want to arrange a personal viewing of this property that's coming to market, 2,400 plus or minus square feet, two bedrooms, two full baths on six plus or minus acres on a heritage trout pond, $395,000. So give Rick Terrio, your main real estate guy to call at area code 207-731-9902 and make this home yours.